This is Rich Christensen. I'm with Chuck Carter. Chuck is the product specialist for Kentwood Molders at Style Solid Wood Technologies. And today we're going to talk about some of the advantages of CNC technology taking place with molders. So, Chuck, if you can fill us in, please. Yes, uh, one of the newest things today that you'll see on the market is technology being with computers added to molders, which have traditionally been more of a manual type setup machine. What it does is it brings in a little bit more efficiency by sending a production schedule to the machine and the programming that goes to the machine is created in an office type environment. Now more or less takes the machine and makes the machine into a printer of that technology, of that data. The way this works, and I'm going to walk you through some of the, the screen setups here, is we have a 3D rendering of the molder and it's basically telling us the different tool positions, the spindle locations, and which tools need to be changed and which tools are out of position. The operator can go into a production schedule that again is created in an office environment. He can select the job of the day, he can load the job of the day, and very quickly have the machine set itself up to run that job. On the machine itself, not only do we have a little bit of uh, indication here of the correct spindle position, but each location we have an LED display. This will give the tool number for that location. It also will give a position value and a set value, which means the program will specify the position it should be and the position it's currently in. When these two match, the computer sees it as being in position and will allow the operator to start the machine and produce the profile. On the second display you see for spindle position two, you see more of the radial value where the first one was the axial. You have now the position value, the set value, and the tool radius. This information is not only seen at the molder, but as well as the touch screen. So we'll go back to the touch screen. If I touch the cutter head, it will take me into identification of all the parameters for that, that program, of that tool. Not only a tool description, but it also has a picture of the tool as well for easy identification methods. We have a spare tool button. So if the tool gets damaged or needs to be replaced, we can go into the spare tool and it loads up the backup set of tools. So with this program, I can now store over 10,000 profiles, which I have a picture identification of that as well and 10,000 tools that I can assign to that profile. So it's now going to take me through a system that does more than thinking myself and it makes the setup time much, much faster by adding this automation to the machine.